Hey everyone, and welcome to a game called Reus. As you can see right here. Oh, let me just turn up my volume a little bit so that I can hear what you guys are hearing. And um, Reus, or uh, Reus, I don't know how you would pronounce that in English. It's a Dutch game. And Reus means giant. So, um, I don't think the game is actually in Dutch. It might be. Might be because my PC is set to Dutch. Could be. If it is, I'll set it to English. Um, and as far as I know, it's kind of a game like Black and White. If you know those games. I have no idea how it works exactly. I have no idea how to play, what to do. And I think that this guy was... Oh wait, I think it just started over. There we go. Reus. Um, so let's go to ch settings. Language. English, right? Yes. Great. So let's start a new game. Uh, game mode beginning... I don't know. Era first. I have no idea. Let's just start. Let's see what this does because I've never played this. I haven't. I've seen pictures of the game a long while ago. I even forgot that I uh, installed this. Okay, you have awakened from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren. It's lifeless. Zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the up and down arrow keys. Can I go actually? Okay. So we can actually zoom in using these. But okay, cool. Rotate the planet. Use the left mouse button to click and drag the planet. Oh, that's cool. All right. You can also use the arrow keys to move. Yeah, okay, cool. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Forest. Wait. Okay, so I can create... Wait, okay. You sense a faint spark of life somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Oh. Okay. At least 10 patches. We can do that. No problem. Let's just make an ocean first. So there's something in here that wants to get out and become alive. Can I make even deeper oceans? No, right? What's this? Are you... Oh, wait. He's going to make more ocean over here? Okay, so that's not really what I wanted, but it's... Fine. Let me just build a big freaking forest right over here. And get that other guy to... Uh, so... What? Okay. So this is... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that means that I need to select this guy and queue it up. And make an ocean over there. Because I think that should mean that... Wait, this is... Oh, I, oh, oh, shit. I already did that. My bad. Well done. You sense a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awakened. You sense a new spark of life flowing through your core. And it seems your forest giant has gained a new ability. Uh, maybe we should cancel out this guy. Dude, don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Can I not cancel? Move. Yeah, just... Wait, am I... I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, no, no, it's fine. I canceled it. Uh, fruit plant? Oh. We can make a plant. Oh, okay, it makes it, it makes it to get more trees. Ooh, okay. To place some plants in the... So, we have a grove. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, okay. So, I guess I did something good. Yeah. So, now there's a camp over here. And I'm checking up here in the upright corner. Blueberry gives 10 food next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. Transmutations. Uh, strawberry give more food. Okay. Banana? That is cool. Okay. As soon as the humans settle, all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. 
All right, click on a village to see the village borders light up beneath each end of the village borders. Mag, a bunker or a boy. Wait, each end is of the border is marked by a bunker or a boy. So, bunker. I'm guessing that's the sticks or something. I have no idea. Uh, placing plants, animals, or minerals within the village borders will generate resources. Villagers want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by you. You can tap... Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So let me zoom out for a little bit. So... Oh, wait, this is a bunker then, I guess. So... This is producing leaves. I'm getting. And that's the village. They're happy. They have 3 attack, 25 health, and that's nothing... And they're producing four out of five. Okay, that's good, I think. The blueberry is providing five. I'm hearing something. Oh, shit. I thought I was hearing something, but it's my washing machine. I seriously hope that does not pick up on the microphone. Fuck. Okay, the blueberries provide five food, so the best food for the uh, five. Okay, the village resource can be viewed by selecting the village and viewing the village panel in the upper right corner. Alternatively, you can also tap to view the numbers under the village. Okay, you can see how much food is being used. Oh, okay, so they're using five food. Okay, play some new food. Okay, so let us build more fruit trees. I placed one over here, right? Oh, I can't really place any. Okay, so this would be... This would be a good idea, it's telling me. And maybe... Not over there. So we got more fruit. Uh, okay. As you can also see in the village panel, these two blueberries are now generating two food. This will eventually lead to ten food being put in use. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. So this is the village and they're picking blueberries from these two patches. So we have two patches that produce five, which means the village has ten total to use if they want to. And they're using six right now. Uh, the faster the food. Okay. The bigger the difference between the food in use and the food in borders. The faster the food in use will grow. Okay. See if you can raise food. Okay, no problem, no problem at all. I'm just gonna put this here, put one there, and maybe put one here. Oh shit, okay, I can't stack them. You can only do one at a time. Okay, let me do more. Uh, okay, cool down 30 seconds. Not a problem. So we have this guy over here, and I kinda wanna make more for all. so this is good i'm guessing that i need to put you put you like over here maybe let's make some more ocean and then make some more uh thingamajings w w w uh, uh, uh. okay do some there I'm not sure if it's... I'm, I'm not gonna build here because I feel like I might be able to expand onto the ocean or something like that. Food in use above 12. Okay, so we're almost there. We're at 11 and that guy is going to our blueberry bush. So I am guessing that... Yep, there we go. 12. Well done. The village is growing and the people are gaining knowledge. They have started building something of their own. Ooh, what's it gonna be, boy? A granary. Building the granary project has allowed the... Okay. Click on the project patch to... View its specialization in the upper right corner. Specialization requires minerals to provide its boost. Your giant lacks the skill to create these minerals. Complete the project could help remedy this. Okay. You will see project's objectives. It requires a large amount of food in use to be completed. Luckily, it seems yours now grown and grain new. Oh, use the ocean gen domestic animal ability. Ooh, cool. So creates animals. That is cool. Well, what I want to do first is I want to create more. There we go. I want to create more forest, and then I can select my my ocean guy, and wait. Will I need to put this near? 
I'm guessing I need to put this near uh, water or something. So let him make his forest right over here. And it could very well be that it's way too far away. This is all occupied. So am I supposed to make it right like over here? I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, so we have our granary. Uh, right. No, shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. W and put some animals on here. No, you know, you will. Okay, so this is, the, I think this is the border of the village. So I don't think it matters if I put anything on there. And I think this will move on to the right. Ooh, so this is... Oh, okay, so this is now producing more food. That is freaking cool. All animals have an area of effect. Click on animals to view the range light up beneath. Okay. Okay, so... Whoa, the granary is completed and an ambassador wants to join you. Okay, click on the patch of chickens... Patch of chickens? Where is the patch of chickens? Oh, patch of chickens. Uh, do you know the symbiosis listed? Free range plus free is a blueberry is within animal range. Oh, that is cool. So these are blueberries and that's within range. That is great. Place chickens near blueberries will create symbiosis for the chickens. Oh, so if you get things to work together, then you'll get bonuses. So chickens with blueberries. So I'm guessing like, if you put chickens next to blueberries, the chickens can eat the blueberries. Not all of them, but they can eat some of them. Which means they'll produce more eggs and more food, something like that? I have no idea. Um, let's see, okay, it will uh, generate much more food. All animals, plants and minerals have a separate symbiosis, okay. -oed. Yeah, 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 okay, so I already did that and the granary is complete now. Excellent. Because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. The ambassador wished to climb upon the shoulders of your giants and increase their strength. Uh, you want to get up on those guys? Uh, I'm not sure. On this guy? I'm not sure if that's a good idea, buddy. But if you want to... Ah, okay. The rock giant has reawoken, but it's in need of a new ability. Select the rock giant and use the right mouse button to press the text <gasps> bubble above the ambassador to pick him up. Okay, so we can pick him up. Oh, we just click him. Oh, no, 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 wait, not you, not you, not you. Go back. You? Select the, okay. And then, pick him up. You, buddy, you're gonna go into the ocean because you're much happier there. And you, can I do anything with you? Oh, everything is locked. <sighs> okay, so I guess this is still the fucking tutorial. Oh, look. Okay, we can't really see him, but he's up here. Uh, we did that. Great. Well done. The app ambassador spirit has unlocked new abilities within the rock giant. Select the patch with the granier, granary and select the... Um, wait, am I supposed to? No, 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 no. No, maybe I need to select him. Okay, specialization mushroom eaters for each mineral within borders. Ooh, precious minerals. So let's take these and put them. So I have no idea. Let's just put them here. I'm not sure if these will ruin my blackberries. Oh God. Yep, okay, they remove my blackberries. That's not good. Oh, actually, that is good because... Plus 15 food for each mineral within borders. Great. Okay, slide the patch with the granary. Yes, I did that. Okay, so we got extra food out of that. Place some minerals within the village borders to boot their resources. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, excellent process is give extra food. For the Agata you created. This is grown and developed greatly since you awakened. But you sense there is still life roaming your surface. Hoping to find a place to settle. Raise a desert of 10 patches using the rock giants. Raise mountain abilities. Be sure to do this far away from any... Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. So, if we take this guy and we're going to make a four, we're going to make a mountain, we need to do it over here. Just so that it won't fuck with my ocean and my forests. But what I also need to do is, you know, the thing is, I have chickens right here. And I have blueberries right here, and I'm gonna put blueberries right there. Wait, I can't do that? Oh, fuck. I thought I could do other stuff. Oh, minerals. Oh, they're way down here. That's cool. Because I have chickens right here, and the symbiosis plus tree food if a blueberry is within animal range. So I need to put blueberries here and here, and here and here. And I can remove this and place minerals over there, so that this granary will produce more. And this guy's almost there. So, this is a really cool concept, though. You still okay, buddy? Oh, we're making mountains. Whoa, bye. Oh, yeah, we can double-click on them to zoom in on them. That's cool. Here we go. Make that mountain, boy. Whoa! Perfect. That is really perfect. Okay, next. We did it. Use the ocean giant's damask and to place some animals in the largest desert. Make sure there is enough desert for the village to settle on. Okay, cool. So we take this guy and we do his www uh, thingamajing. Um, place some animals in the largest desert. So I'm just going to place them here on the edge. Just so that the village can form on here. I'm guessing that's good enough. So I don't know what's better. Forest... I'm guessing that eventually we'll have like equal parts forest, ocean, and desert just to keep the three giants happy. Um, but right now, I have a lot of forest over here, I have some oceans over here, and this is all ground that I can. Wait, are you doing your shit? Okay, so there's a guy walking over here, and we have some kangaroo rats. Yay! We got a village! Redshire! Use the ocean. Yeah, we did that. A new village has settled in the desert. Your, your sensor will start a new project soon. Okay, so okay, so now the bunker is over there. Ooh, what's this? A church or something? Project patch. So click this. Specialization. Desert herders plus five food for each animal within borders. That is great. So... Be sure, okay, that's cool. So I'm guessing that we are going to have to place more animals in here. Okay, we can place it over there, but we can place it over here. Okay, that's still regenerating. So kangaroo rats generate one food per each patch in their range. The specialization is provide an extra five food for each animal. It seems this project also requires wealth. Use the rock giant's precious minerals ability within the desert fiddles borders on a desert patch. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna wait, is that the precious minerals? Yes. We we're gonna place that right here. Actually, no. Let me see. Because we have the desert rats. If a mineral with oh shit. I shouldn't have placed that there. Oh shit, man. Um, you know what? I can still do you. So I'm gonna do you here. I'm gonna pick the rock guy and I'm gonna put some minerals over there. Because then I'll get a bonus from these kangaroo rats. And, oh, those guys are so fucking big. And that guy is just on top of him like... Ah, dee -da, dee -a -la. So, okay. Food in use, wealth in use. Shabam -balam. And we got some minerals. Great. Quartz you created only generates 10 wealth. It will slowly lead to 10 wealth in use. We can increase this by making sure villagers activate the mineral. Okay. If they are activated. Okay. Click on them. Activate symbiosis. Resonator. Wait. What am I supposed to do? Activate symbiosis with 5 wealth in use. Uh, raise the wealth and use above 5 to activate the quartz. Ah, okay. So we're gonna need more. Okay. I think if I place this here, because this, yeah. So if I place this here, that's still gonna boost my food from these kangaroo rats. And it's within the borders of the village. Shabam-balam. Awesome. So let's see how many. Oh, look at all that food. 
How many wealth is in use? Oh, okay, so now there are actually um, mines down there. Raise the... Yep, I did that. I think I did that. How can I see that? Wait, can I just click the village? Wealth in use 7, yes. These quartzes will also have a symbiosis. Okay, yeah, what's the symbiosis of these guys? Uh, if next to stone... Wait, what? Next to stone... Let's continue improving this village until it can finish its project. Great, so wealth in use. So, you know what? I'm... G oh shit, I wanted to... I wanted to do another thing. Excellent work! You have performed admirably. The humans have strengthened your core. You may have learned about villages, resources, specializations and symbiosis. The time for slumber has once again come upon you and you, mu and you hope the humans will survive until the next era dawns. You can now go try to lead the humans to different developments in the era game. Developments can unlock new plants, animals and minerals and can progress you through the game. There is also a third beginning to learn about greed, transmutations and danger. If you are having any difficulties you can always select the third beginning in the game select menu. Click to continue and view all the developments you achieved during this game. Uh, so that was the end of the second era. So the... Um, I think there are three tutorials, we just did the first and the second one. I might cut out the first tutorial because it was really, really basic. And we've been recording for 30 minutes, so I hope that I hope that works out. So, yeah, that's that's Rus, or Giant, if you like to say it in English. A uh, really cool game, and props, map props to the guys who made this. Holland. But yeah, it, 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 it's actually quite fun. I thought it was going to be quite simple, but with the um, symbiosis and everything, that's really cool. That's really well thought out. So I'm going to enjoy playing this more in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more of my content, go and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye.